Hey everybody, welcome to the channel Rock in the Country. I'm Don. First, I'm doing a moment of silence for the veterans. This is in honor of Veterans Day. This is in honor of the veterans. That's a better way of putting it. Currently serving, but those who have gone before us and uh, lost their lives or are back. I was just talking with uh, one of my neighbors. He's he was about a block away. I run into Rich every so often. I've talked with him a bit. And uh, Rich was in Vietnam. And just yesterday, as timing has it, today's November 11th, November 10th, I'm going for a walk down to where I do my yoga by the pond. Some of you have seen the video that I've done. And I'm just, I run, I see Rich. So I'm talking with Rich for a couple of minutes, just shooting a breeze about whatever. And then I notice he's got a hat on that says DAV. And I, I've never seen this hat before, not on him, not just on him, not on anybody. And so I'm like, I was just going to continue on my walk, but then I'm like, what does that hat mean? You know, sometimes you just ask a question. It sounds dumb, sometimes whatever. And um, he says, disabled American veteran. Now, I've known Rich for a year and a half, two years, you know, just from chatting here and there. He's a nice guy. I said, you're disabled? I, I said, where? Like, because he showed no visible signs of it. And he said, I lost my eye. And because he normally wears glasses, so I couldn't tell. And I'm like, holy cow. But anyway, we all know people. Um, we know people currently serving, but uh, whatever mankind does to one another. Anyway, there's my bit, so to speak. Maybe I'll have Rich do some reactions with me just for fun at some point. Not necessarily military-oriented. But this is the Drive-By Truckers rendition of Tom T. Hall's song, Mama Bake a Pie. This was requested by Simeon Teitelbaum. I don't know this song. I already posted one this morning that was Waylon Jennings, but this one I'm doing specially to make sure I get it up on the channel today on Veterans Day. So here we go. I don't know it. People staring at me as they wheel me down the ramp toward my plane the war is over for me I've forgotten everything except the pain Thank you sir and yes sir it was worth it for the old red, white and blue and Since I won't be walking I suppose I'll save some money buying shoes a bottle hidden underneath a blanket over my two battered legs I can see the stewardess making over me and asking me were you afraid I say why well, no I'm Superman and couldn't find the phone booth quite in time The GI gets a lot of light Remembers all the funny lines Mama baked a pie Daddy kill a chicken Your son is coming home 11.35 Wednesday night Mama will be crying Daddy's gonna say Son, they treat you good My uncle will be drunk and he'll say, boy, they do some real great things with wood. The letter that she wrote me said goodbye, she couldn't wait and lots of luck. The bottle underneath the blanket feels just like an old friend to my touch. She'll come and see me, but I bet she never once looks at my legs She'll just talk about the weather and the dress she wore the July 4th parade 
I was just going to pause for a second. Lord, I love her so much that I don't think I can drink her off my mind. And I can see it in the paper where they're saying that the war is a waste of time. Mama, bake a pie. Daddy, kill a chicken. Your son is coming home. 1135 Wednesday night. Your son is coming home. 1135 Wednesday night. Your son is coming home. 35 Wednesday night and that's just the start of a harder life I just had images of evacuating Vietnam because that's on my mind now I don't know when Tom T wrote this I'm gonna guess it was probably at about that time or about that I mean it could have been Desert Storm, it could have been, you know, the Middle East and such, but uh, I'm, you know, the the final evacuation with all the folks trying to get to the top to, with that um, evacuation helicopter, the final one in those images, but, you know, that's what I have in my mind when I think about that. Um, I don't know. I... Many of us do have a sensitivity toward the hardships with which people and mankind live with, but I don't know if it's the product of age. It probably is, but you have to care to and to allow these things to hit you. I, for whatever reason, I made where I don't, I, I can't say I don't have a choice. Maybe I don't want that choice, but I do. What mankind does to itself, what we do to ourselves in so many ways, it's just so fucked up. But it, I mean, what are you going to do? If somebody means you harm, you're just not going to let them roll over you, you know? So you fight. In any case, um, obviously, I don't rate, I would never rate a song like this. So that's off the table. But I may have to do Tom T's song one day to hear this. This is a very Tom T song. The The detail that was included in it, it really paints a fuller picture psychologically of what somebody lives with. Even throwing in the little joke and the little humor, like the way you try to make it through. Uh, yeah. And just the stories I've heard of people who have been in war, you know, like my friend Rich that I said, talked about in the beginning of the video about when he and his brother came home. His brother was a helicopter pilot. And he didn't lose his life in Vietnam. He, he died later. But when they came back home and they were living home, uh, his brother would wake up. Oh, well, I'm not sharing any of that. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you, veterans, though. That is... This is my way of honoring you t to an extent. Um, you know, and I know Dave and Christine, you know, Christine, you're still serving and others are as well, and those who've gone before us who have served. All I could say is, thank you, and that's, that's that. All right, guys, have a great day if you can. Veterans, thank you.